It's Transformers 96 here with another very review, this time of the Transformers Prime Deluxe Beast Hunters Autobot Bulkhead. So here you go. So this is part of the second wave, as you can see, Bulkhead, nice picture of the vehicle, uh, spinning dragon grinder, da da da, pretty interesting. You get a nice picture of the Predacon, just like always. I wish that they would actually do art of the character, it makes it easier to flip through, uh, flip through on the shelves. Nice picture of him, you got his stats, 10 on strength, and uh, and yeah, decent stats, they're pretty spread out. And then at the bottom here, or at the back, you get... Um, bulkhead in both those modes, and a one sentence uh, bio, really not liking that, would have liked some uh, a bigger bio because you buy these figures, a lot of people buy them just based on the character, and if you don't know a character but the figure looks interesting, I always just flip it around while I'm in the store and read a little bit of bio and see if I like them, and uh, t these bios are just really not cutting it for me. Over here you got Smokescreen, I did pick him up, Ripclaw, and Starscream, I did pick him up, um, I'm trying to stay away from these dragons because... Uh, I really don't want to be collecting the dragons, but they are looking kind of tempting. But yeah, so um, so yeah, so so here is uh, Bulkhead in his deluxe uh, Autobot mode or um, alt mode. Was it armored truck mode? So there you go. So overall, this truck is pretty cool looking, just as far as the actual figure, as far as the actual mold of the truck. It's very nice. I mean, it does really kind of, it looks, you know, realistic, with a couple of, uh, you know, Beast Hunter-ish things, but nothing too insane, like you got the spikes up here, and that's about it. Otherwise, you know, the, the front kind of forms almost like a little beast face, you know, you got them out there in the eyes, and then the little claws and stuff like that, but it's, it's not, you know, anything too bad. I'm actually liking the look of this mold, uh, just as far as the actual sculpt goes it looks pretty cool um does it roll or not not really i don't understand this i always have this problem maybe it's just that my figures in general um but um when I watch some reviews, the person always says, oh yeah, it rolls great and everything, and then I get home and it never rolls for me, and uh, and this had, this guy has no clearance problems whatsoever, it's just the tires do not move on the ground at all, so so yeah, so it just slides, I never have good luck with that, but well, that's a very minor thing. As far as the colors, the colors are interesting, you get two different shades of orange, one's really bright, one's very dark, you get two different shades of blue, one's very light, one's very dark, and then you get some copperish colors uh, around it, uh, almost verging on gold, and uh, some paint splatter there on that copper piece. Not looking great. You get a little bit of gray too, and a little bit of silver, and uh, yeah, overall, I'm not liking If they're gonna do a color, just do it the same. Yeah, even the greens. Look at the greens. They're, this is a very dark green, this is a very bright green. I wish that they would just do one shade and just be done with it instead of all these different crazy shades that uh, that uh, really don't match. But it, it looks okay, you know. I mean, it could pass as like a little jungle uh, bulkhead. Uh, you know, I'd rather just have an original especially since we never had a uh, bulkhead uh, deluxe class um, size figure from the Transformers Prime. So I would have liked one in regular colors, but they've got to do the whole Beast Hunter gimmick, so I guess I really couldn't. Overall, the truck is decent. Here he is compared with um, Smokescreen. As you can see, he's, he's pretty big, because he's about the same size as far as length, and then he's just a lot bigger, too. So I think that you do get your money's worth as far as size with this figure compared to the others. He comes with this. When I got Starscream out of package, I bought them at the same time, opened Starscream first, and I really just did not like his stupid little weapon. This looked really cool. I was like, oh, that looks nice. A nice little saw blade. It looks really cool. I do really like it. It's very flat, which is neat. I like the spikes on the side, and then the saw is very cool. I really like the translucent blue. It just doesn't work. You're supposed to press this, and it's supposed to spin, and it only does sometimes. You gotta get it, like, on the right groove. There you go. There we go. So, like, you have to get it at the right time. If you don't, it just, like, won't spin. And, uh, it's working pretty well on camera. Well, yeah. It, it, it's, it's annoying. I mean, it's not, like, Ratchet from the, um, Dark of the Moon toy line. He had one that worked every time, and it was really nice. This one works, uh, sometimes. Most of the time, I guess. But, uh, but not always, that's for sure. So, yeah. So, this, of course, has a peg. You can peg on either side, as well as the top. Here it is at the top. I don't think that it really looks great, unless he, like, moves it to the side and uh, cuts an Autobot down, uh, cuts his legs off as he's driving by or something like that. Overall, it looks really good, but the gimmick doesn't work great. It's it's still very nice, so it's a lot better than Starscream. So yeah, so now let's uh, transform it. Okay, now for transformation, what you're going to want to do is start out at the doors and just uh, pop these up. There we go. 
Then this, the, these feet are supposed to be connected on these little ports. They don't connect very well at all, so that'll come off, and then you're just gonna wanna rotate them all out. It's a very tight joint, though. It's it's just, it's stiff, it's weird. I'll talk about that when I get to the uh, robot mode. But then these will split, and then um, these will just come down just like this, come down just like this, and there you have the legs. Very simple, very easy, and uh, there you go. So then with this, what you want to do is just move that down. That This doesn't connect anywhere either. I mean, it looks like it's got like a little peg or something, but it just doesn't connect, which is annoying in, ro in car mode, but uh, what are you going to do? So then this, this will just come up, and um, the black piece will just stay in just like this. So then this will rotate up and then just peg in right there. The arms will come to the side. Well, the arms to the side. It's, it's, this is just on a hinge that doesn't isn't held up by anything. So if it's scraping on the on the thing and it makes sound, I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? But yeah. So then that's up. And then on um, this whole piece, just uh, you just move it to the back. Then you've got bulkhead's face. This pegs in together. The whole thing just doesn't work, though. I don't understand. It's supposed to peg in, and I guess it might, kind of, but it just it isn't in there very strong or anything. Just get these arms rotated back uh, where they look good, or where they should be. There you go. And then on um, this little thing up here, on so this is this is how you'll get it well you'll get it like this in package completely done this is this is how it is in package but what it is actually supposed to be is this this is supposed to come up and these are supposed to rotate out they're very hard to rotate out just because they're on these little pins and there we go so you do have to give them some force and uh, just move around a little bit, but there you go. So it's supposed to be like that, and then you fold it down, which is cool. Um, I wasn't liking this figure as much, but when I learned that it, that happens, that made me like it a little bit more. So yeah, so there he is in his robot mode. Uh, pretty easy to transform him back from car to robot. From robot to car, it's pretty simple, but there's a couple spots that just stump you. Uh, one of them is when you're connecting the, uh, the front like, grill of the car to the here when you're connecting this front piece to this piece that's up here so uh so this piece to this piece is very hard and it it's like it, you don't know how it should fit it's not just like oh i know i need to do this just how do i do it it's like how do i how do i do that and uh you really have to just push down really hard on the top to get to just fly down Sorry, there's a plane going overhead if you can hear that. But um, but yeah, so here's Bulkhead in his robot mode, all transformed. Pretty simple transformation at that, um, but pretty cool. So yeah, so as you can see here he is, just going over the face sculpt really fast. I don't know what this is. He's got like a visor down, which does look kind of neat. And I do like the silver face, but I don't know, it just doesn't look like Bulkhead. These kind of things look like eyes, you know, it's, just, it's strange. I don't know what it is. Plus he does have a little slot for light piping, but he's got this huge just shade over his head. So it's like, how is he going to get any light coming in? So uh, that's worthless. Overall, he's pretty bulky though. You can definitely tell it's Bulkhead. I mean, there's no question about it. He's got the, a huge Autobot symbol just right on his crotch, which is kind of funny. He still maintains this kind of shape. And then the, this thing, it just, it doesn't connect all the way. This will pop down a bunch of times, and when you're messing with him, the whole thing will come up in the front. It's a very annoying uh, with the chest trying to get it to, uh, to, you know, stay. I do kind of like this a lot, the way that this is kind of angled up. I don't know what it is. It's like a little sh neck shield. I don't know. It looks, it looks pretty cool to me. Um, he does have those arms that are like, it's like this, you know, he's always got those uh, kind of arms. He, he can't rotate this out and then just have this swivel in or anything like that. Um, uh, you know, kind of like I, this uh, pretty far example, but uh, the drones, the air drones from Iron Man 2, they had the wrist problems, so and they, they couldn't really t turn their wrists. That's what it's like, so it's like that, so odd example. Plus, there is like a little cut in the arms, which is strange, because it looks like that this is supposed to be like something with transformation, and it doesn't do anything with transformation, so yeah. Overall quality with the paint applications not great I, I mean it's supposed to be like this but just look at all these like swirls and all these weird things in the arms they look like mistakes and up here it looks all dirty and stuff but they're they're not mistakes 
Let's see, there you can see it in there. It's, it's just, it's extremely annoying in, in the legs and everything. And it's really bad. It's just in the arms, the sides of the cars, like right there and everything. And I thought, you know, at first that it was like a manufacturer problem. But it's not, because with Bumblebee, apparently, he's got the same type of thing going. So it's something that Hasbro is actually doing for the figures. I don't like it at all. I think that it looks really bad and, um... There's really nothing you can do about it, though. So that is a shame. To compare uh, with some of the other versions of Bulkhead uh, from the Transformers Prime, here he is with the two other Voyagers, and why don't we throw in the Cyberverse Commander. So as you can see, there you go. There's all the... Is this every... I think this is every single Bulkhead uh, that's been released from the Transformers Prime series. And he falls flat. His paint, um, th the way he's painted is pretty good as far as the colors that they could have picked to go with him. Orange and green really do go together. And there isn't a whole lot of uh, other colors, so it is kind of nice. Overall, if they had to do some kind of crazy colors, this is a decent look. I wish that they just didn't, though. I would have liked a regular, you know, deluxe bulkhead. As you can see, just he fail falls flat compared to the others. I mean... I have no way in my right ma in my right mind to tell you guys to buy this deluxe one over one of these two Voyager ones because the Voyager ones are great the first edition and the uh, review of the shield or whatever it's called they're, they're both really great um, so it's really hard for me to actually recommend this especially his face I mean it looks like bulkhead I guess but it is just not bulkhead the the uh, these two are definitely bulkhead you can tell and even this guy this guy not too much which I really don't like. So yeah, so that's not uh, so that's not great. So here's his weapon. As you can see, the weapon is pretty cool. I like how flat it is. It isn't huge. It's not a huge weapon, which I find interesting because with a lot of the skinny characters, they give them this huge weapon. But with the you know bulky character, they get a little small one. It's just it doesn't fit. I don't know why they do that unless it's just you know, cost. But uh, but overall he does look nice holding it. I actually do like this. The way I keep him is with his arm just regular like this, and then one arm on the hip, just like this. I don't know why. I think that's a cool look for him. The biceps they are are just loose. I don't uh, understand it at all. I do not like that at all and it's it's just it's very annoying. Not to mention the knees are so stiff. I just it's so hard to move them and it's so easy to move this. So the legs are just awkward as far as some joints are extremely tight and some joints are extremely loose. Really do not like that as well as the orange. You get the bright orange up here and the darker orange right here. Not great. Overall I would not recommend this to anybody who wants a nice bulkhead because if I'm going to recommend a nice bulkhead I recommend the first edition and if you can't get that one then just the uh, the other Voyager I, I don't know what they call him so it starts with an R I have no idea uh, so so I definitely do not recommend this one if you're a big bulkhead fan go ahead just to get all the bulkheads and if you really want a deluxe one you just you have to get a deluxe one then go ahead I do not see why you want one because there's really no character there's not like they did a deluxe uh, breakdown so it'd be really cool to get this guy could go with him because they didn't uh, so there's just not a whole lot of reason to go to get this guy because he won't even be in scale with even you know it's not like one of those figures where you could use him with a cyberverse commanders and he'd be in scale because he's just way too big for that and he's way too small for the other deluxes because uh, bulkhead should be really big so yeah overall a decent figure not great probably it's hard to say. I think that he's the second best out of the wave. I, I think that the best out of the wave, and I didn't get the uh, Ripclaw. I didn't get her. But um, I think that the best is Smokescreen, and I'm not loving that figure. So I think that this is a pretty poor wave, and uh, Beast Hunters have really gone... I mean, Transformers have really gone downhill. Hopefully they'll pick up next year with the Ch Transformers 4. Um, I picked this guy up at Target for $10. They were on a big sale. So if you can get this guy in a really nice sale for $10, and you really do like the look then go ahead, that, that's perfect for you, but if not, I would not recommend getting this guy in for, for, uh, full retail, so that's my opinion. So there you go, that's the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Autobot Bulkhead Review. Thanks for watching.